Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first I'm starting off with some e.l.f. concealer and I'm just going to clean up the bottom of my brows and prime my lids. Not doing anything special here and then I just blend it out with a sponge. Um, Now I'm trying to see, oh. Now I'm taking the NYX Ultimate Breaks palette, I think that's what it's called. And I'm just taking a red shade, it doesn't really matter what shade. And we're just going to use that as our transition color. I'm going for a cut crease so you know you want to make sure that's all blended out real nicely. Then I'm taking the Subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm taking this dark burgundy shade and deep it in my crease a little bit. Nothing too spectacular. Um, yeah, I only used three shadows before I cut my crease so it was real simple. Now I'm going to take that same fluffy brush and just blend out the harsh, edge, harsh edges so you know it's not looking like a... Just not like I threw some eyeshadow on my lids. And then I'm going to take a darker, more purpley, dark shade. I really don't know what to call it, but it's from the Subculture palette again. And I'm just deepening my crease. Now, I'm taking the same concealer and I'm cutting my crease. I really am not doing anything special at all, okay? Next, I'm going to use the Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics. And I, I started off using a gold eyeshadow, but I wasn't feeling that. So then I just added this frosty like white highlighter shade from that palette and you know just made it work. Deepen up the crease because I'm really not the best at cut creases. I have hooded lids and I really don't like making my eyelids look too dramatic. I just don't feel like it suits my face so yep now I'm just blending the outer V and you know deepen it up and doing all that stuff and just trying to make it look nice. Now I'm going to clean up the edges so it's not all messy before, when I put my foundation on. I'm going to go back to the eyes, but first I'm just going to put some primer on my face just so it has a second to like dry and soak up and all that stuff. And I did moisturize my face before the video started. Now I'm just going to line my lids. I'm going to do a basic wing liner and then I believe I go off camera and add some lashes. Don't ask me where the, the lashes came from because I really don't remember, okay? Now on to the fun part. I'm taking a brown liner. It would have been better if I had white, but I couldn't figure out where I put my white liner at the time, and I was trying to just hurry up and get this done. So I'm just going to take the brown liner, and I'm going to outline where I want the melted face to be, if that makes sense. Like, and you, I left all the parts of me messing up in here. I messed up a lot because I couldn't really get the shape down, but that's why I said it's better to use a white liner. The brown, it wasn't that big of a deal because it wiped off real easy too, but... You know, you just want to use a, something that wipes off your face real simple. So that way, if you do make any mistakes, you can just wipe it off, okay? And keep some makeup wipes on hand. Like, you know, because this gets real tedious. So... At this point, I realized that I forgot to put my other earring in. I was just so anxious to record that I guess I like stopped in the middle of that. So I'm just gonna put my earring on and then continue with my foundation. I'm not doing anything simple. I'm just using a drugstore foundation and I'm gonna fill in all of the parts that is gonna be the melted skin. So everything inside the brown line, around my eye and all that stuff, I'm just gonna fill that all in with foundation and you know make sure it's as precise as I could get it the only thing that I wish I would have done differently is put the melted part of my face on my opposite side because I'm not so hold on I'm trying to think I did this on my left side it doesn't look like the left side is it I don't really remember I don't even know if the camera is turned but listen I'm right-handed so I wish I would have did it on my right hand side because it would have been a lot more simple to see well, for me at least, but whatever. Or no, my left side. I, listen, don't don't mind me. I would have I would have rather did it on the other side, though, okay? <laughs> now I'm just highlighting under my eyes. I'm not really doing too much, though. I'm just doing, like, real fast. I put a little bit of concealer under, and then I'm going to take a little bit of airspun powder and just set the highlighter, okay? 
when I tell you nothing, nothing special at all, I blend that all together and then I'm just cleaning up the drips a little bit, trying to get that brown like out the way, even though it really doesn't matter because it's going to be covered by white paint, but whatever. Now I'm taking glitter glue, you can use eyelash glue or Elmer's glue stick, whatever, but I'm just gluing down my eyebrows. So that way when I apply the paint, it won't be like sticking up and looking crazy. And I'm just doing that just so it has a second to dry and then I'm just gonna add some highlighter to my face because that's like the glam side. And we're gonna call it a day. I didn't want to use no setting spray because I was afraid it was gonna mess with the, um, with the white paint or whatever. So I'm just like, you know, finishing up my eyes. I put some red at the bottom, add some black liner, add some mascara on the bottom of my lashes, and you know, all that jazz. Okay, perfect. So now, we're starting the fun part. And I'm so out of breath, I'm sorry y'all, I'm so pregnant and <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> but now I'm just looking at a picture and I'm trying to outline where Pennywise is, it, whatever you wanna call him, where that like red line goes through his eye and like it makes that fake smile and then i'm gonna make i'm gonna extend the smile through the melts a little bit now another thing that i wish i would have done differently is just keeping the natural shape of my lips only because at first i had plans on drawing the teeth on my lips so that's why i overlined my lips like so much but once i finished and i got through like doing all the white paint and stuff it got so tedious that i was just like you know what i'm feeling this in red and i don't have no i don't have no time okay we're just gonna take some cream oh and the lighting got better too y'all <laughs> but i'm i literally got this white paint from Rite Aid. like it's just some halloween makeup and i'm trying to outline the drips i used a I believe that's a bare minerals brush. I don't know, but it has like a foundation side, a foundation brush side, and then has like this smaller concealer brush. And I'm just using that at first just so I could outline the, um, you know, the red and stuff because obviously everything that I'm outlining is gonna be colored in red. I was getting ready, to, really tired at that part, okay? Like, it's just so tedious. But I'm just gonna fill it in, you know, sing a little bit. <laughs> And yeah, then I'm taking a makeup sponge just so I can blend out the white. Because if you use a brush the whole time, it starts looking real splotchy. Even if you put a lot on, it just doesn't look that good. So yeah, see me just filling everything in again. This look wasn't as hard as I thought it would have been, but I kind of want to redo it. But I have other Halloween makeup looks in mind, so if I have a chance to do it before October is over, I probably will redo this look just so I can perfect it. But you know, this is just so you guys get the gist of it all, okay? <sighs> now, yeah, you see me, I'm fake smiling because I, literally I was so fed up at this point. It was probably like an hour and a half in to me doing all this, and I was just like, I am so over it. But like I said before, I was going to initially draw some teeth in, so that's why I left my lips bare at first. But you will see me color that in at the end, because I'm just over it. <clears throat> I am so out of breath. <sighs> now I'm just coloring in my nose. When I tell y'all, this is like, I feel like it's self-explanatory, but... I like when people explain stuff to me, so I'm explaining this to you all too. <laughs> so yeah, just filling in everything, just getting it going. Now I'm taking a like a purple. I think I mixed purple and red together, trying to get that like a burgundy shade. I would have used a liquid lipstick, but I could not find none of my burgundy liquid lipsticks. Like, everything I had was, like, bright red or, like, orangish red, and it just wasn't working. But again, after I finished this look, I realized I could have just used the fake blood that I had because it would have probably looked real good. Because some of the pictures of Pennywise that I've seen, he did have blood around his lips, but whatever. Now I'm just taking a black makeup crayon thing that came in the Halloween set that I got and using some black eyeshadow to blacken on my eye because you know Pennywise he has that like black he has like black rings around his eyes or whatever and then just putting on some 
black liner on my waterline and my tight line because it kind of looks weird <laughs> or it was just bare and then I'm finishing that point from his smile you know making it red Now you see me going in with, see, one of the red lipsticks, one of the red liquid, lips, liquid lipsticks that I have. Because like I said, I couldn't find no burgundy, but I was trying to make that red darker. And then again, going over it with purple and red eyeshadow, just so I can deepen the color a little bit. Then I am drawing on his skinny brows, okay? He has them brows from like the 2000s. Everybody used to think was cute. And I mean, if you wear your eyebrows like that, then that's cool for you, but <laughs> that's just a little too thin for my preference. But yeah, you know. And then like I said, now I'm just filling in my lips because at this point I was ready to be finished. And yeah. Again with the eyeshadow, you know, trying to make the red a little darker. I'm gonna dance around a little bit because we are almost finished. And then I'm just taking a black eyeliner and I'm lining my lips so I can look like I have lip shape. Now, like I said in the beginning, or like like I said previously, it would have been a lot cuter if I would have just did it on my regular lips and then did a ombre lip, like black and red ombre, black and red ombre lip. But whatever, cause everybody still got the picture. And then I'm just taking a brown shadow and I'm deepening the melt part, like the melting part of my face, a little bit just to give it a little depth. I could have took my time on this part too, but you know, like I said, I was getting real, real irritated. Then I just add some smile lines around my eyes and trying to make my cheekbones look a little like more prominent and popped out and like clown-like, and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and I'm just gonna blend out the lines a little bit with some black eyeshadow. And this still looks like I'm smiling even when I'm not. And then that's really it. Did my little bit of final touches, but it's my face. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to see more of me. And until next time, thanks guys. Bye.